All right, this is the last one. Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody, stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Stay, stay, procedure? stay calm. I'm out of money. All right. Boom. You haven't bought the battle pass? No, I don't know what that is. I know that it's a thing, but I don't actually know how it works and I've never bought the battle pass in any game ever. Yeah, like whenever I want a specific thing, I just buy the specific thing. I don't like want things in general. I just like don't really need it. If I see like a really specific like skin that I want, I'll just buy that specific skin and then not buy a battle pass. Now that I know that you can get free pulls on the skin, I can see why it has value, but I've never bought one in the past. Oh no. I chose to buy the Garen instead of the Kogma. Now I got two Kogmas and a Cho'Gath and a Malphite. No, that's so sad. I have a pretty good Faded or Duelist setup. Duelist Crest. Duelist Crest. Duelist Crest. Oh? Alright. Am I the most flexible player in the world? What'd I get? Dragon Lord Mythic. Oh man, I hit so many Yasuos. I alone decide my fate. Uh. Okay, let me think about this. So, Dragon Lord Mythic. Dragon Lord Mythic. Well, I mean, Mythic is easy to play. And then Dragon Lord is pretty splashable, right? So you can just. I'll just play a Mythic with a random Dragon Lord at the end. And that sounds pretty clean. But yeah, uh, I can just throw in a Janna, right, for Invoker Dragon Lord. I think it'll work decently. I, I have to give up on the Yasuos, though. It's a I'm a little sad because I have four Yasuos and two Aries. Tola could have been a Yasuo real game. That, that unit's busted. But if I'm the most flexible player in the world, I must play to my what the game gives me. Dude, what the fuck? Those two guys got Econ. Those two guys got Econ because they grabbed their orb. Oh, and a dupe. I herald the greatest blessing. Spirits are calling. Okay, so we're going to play Cho Cho'Gath, Malphite, Kog'Maw in the early game. Look for a Janna for Dragonlord Invoker. Uh, what else? We're not really going to play Duelists. It, it, you could fit it in with Lee Sin Dragonlord, but you can't fit in the Mythic. And I want to make use of both. I wonder if this is better. I think this is better. It leads me down a better path, I would say. Because, like, the Duelist is just, like, a temporary thing. I don't want to lean too hard into it. But, yeah, okay. So then... I, I like this path a lot. Then we can just, like, spam Mythics. Probably not actually playing Bard, though. And then we eventually land on Lilia, Orn. Yeah, something like that.
Wait, did I lose this? Oh my god. Okay, I have a glove. I'm down to play this pretty flexibly and just like slam whatever. Uh, slam ball items here. Another glove, rod, and chain. Let's do the rod. This won't be the best items on Lilia, but whatever. If it gets me there healthy, I'm down. How good is... Oh shit. Hello, Sean. Thank you so much for the raid. I hope you had a wonderful stream. I saw you were playing Tekken. Is it Tekken time again? Is it time for another Sage M Slam? Oh, do I lose this? Wait, no way. Isn't my board like godly? Wait, what the heck? Wait, I got rolled. Oh my god, that was not even close. Wow. Dang, I can't buy this Kog'Maw. Uh, Nico summons a random three-star one-cost spirit. Uh, oh, thanks. Okay, since I lost my streak, I'm gonna, like, start preparing for my real board. So, like this. Yeah, hello, Sean. You're seconds away. Oh, yeah, you're in the boot camp. Let's see. How are you doing right now? You're in the casual... I know Sean doesn't play much TFT. How did it go? Oh, you're alive! Gold two. Nice. You're you're alive. Oh wow! There's like a, a traffic jam here. Everybody in the casual department's gold. Like one first place probably brings up like eight ranks. You should probably um. Have you already gotten coached by Raditz? I know you were on the Sage M Slam with Raditz, so you got to know him pretty well. I wonder if you'd uh, get along in TFT as well. He might be able to explain things in Tekken terms. Oh, he did? That was sick. I'm so sad I lost. That guy was so strong. What was his board? Can't be too upset. His board is crazy, but... It's just Bard 2? No, it's just Sivir 2. Okay. Honestly, it didn't even seem that strong. He was almost for sure eliminated, if not for the almighty Volibear. Oh, we do love Volibear here. I think I'll save this. I don't think I slammed the. Wait. How long do we get this random thing for? How long do we get this random Shogath for? I thought it was one round. Uh, I guess two more rounds? Okay. You know, I've never played an RE carry game before. I wonder if she's good. I feel like it, she's not very good. That's my gut feeling. While I've never played this game, I've only watched it in streams. My brain gets so overwhelmed and I never have any idea what's going on. Lol. Yeah, I think that's like one of TFT's biggest weaknesses. It's such a fun game to watch, but it requires a lot of uh, initial knowledge. Let's do some math. This is really good. This is really, really good here. Um, I'm pretty sure Kench is the correct unit to put this on. Let me think. I just know Kench is like kind of busted right now, so even a one-star Kench, I think it's time. It's like insanely perfect items here. Holy crap. But yeah, uh, TFT has a ridiculously large barrier to entry. You have to play it for like six hours before like anything makes sense. Otherwise, you're just like kind of looking at things, doing things, and like nothing makes sense. Whereas like, um, like Valorant, for example. In Valorant, you don't have to play Valorant to kind of like get what's going on, right? You might not understand the deeper strategy to it, but... Like, if you're watching a pro game, you can be like, 
What a shot, right? If, if a guy, if Tens goes like, whoosh, right? And then someone dies, you will scream in excitement because that was sick. Uh, in TFT, you kind of have to like play the set for six hours before you can even begin to watch it. And that's one of the weaknesses of TFT, but like, I think any strategy game will suffer from this. So like, there's there's no answer. That's why uh, competitive TFT has such a hard time. Oh, bye-bye. Yeah, that's why competitive TFT has such a hard time. It's like really hard to get viewers on a competitive stream because not enough people have like paid the tax of like six hours of learning the game compared to like League of Legends. Uh, I guess League of Legends honestly did it the same way, but like a lot of people have already paid the tax of like learning the basics. But yeah, I mean, it's a very, TFT is a very fun game. Like it's one of the, it's probably the best strategy game on the market right now. I uh, just all strategy games have to suffer from that issue. So nothing can be done. Sag. This guy has two duplicators. Okay, but I have a Kench. My Kench is dead. Um. Oh, it's actually kind of close. Okay, but I got an earlier carousel pick. Okay, I'm calling it right now. Lilia on carousel with a rod. Ah. Uh... Wait. Oh, Adaptive Helm might not actually be good here. Adaptive Helm in general is a very good flex item, but it might not be good on Lilia. Let me look it up. All right, Lilia, two star. Adaptive Helm, it's average. I could slam it as a flex play. What are her best items? Not much. All right, it's fine. I'll just slam it. it, it it's it's got to be worth it. Like you get so much value from slamming this right now. With Invoker Two, Adaptive Lilia is really good. I'm down. Can somebody shut these frogs up? Shut up! Oh wow, they actually heard me. I I kind of I kind of feel bad now. Holy crap! I might be what's wrong with the world. Okay, is this your cure augment like the worst augment in the game? I've never seen anyone win with this. I've seen a lot of people take it, and it always seems horrible. What does it do exactly? Gain a Yorick, your strongest Yorick gains 25% max health. Wait, I lost! What the? What the? Okay. Honestly, I kind of deserve that. Oh, it's really nice that this comes with a remover, so I can move items from Kog'Maw. Oh, okay, I, mean, I know exactly what I'm playing. We can remove these guys because we already hit them. Are there any other four costs I want to consider here? Not really, right? Like maybe Galio for a little bit. Oh, this guy like rolled to zero. Wait, when did I get a duplicator? Did everybody get a duplicator? Oh, everybody did. Okay. Travel awaits. Dude, I'm still in Kench one. Okay, then again, I didn't really roll, so not too surprising there. Uh, Double Gwinsu's Bard, classic. Story Weaver Flex. Uh, I think it's Umbral? I can't tell. Those kind of look like Yone items, but not really. Story Weaver Flex, Story Weaver Flex. Okay, I mean, the nice thing is that Story Weaver Flex doesn't usually involve Lilia, so I think I'm fine. And you thought it was just a harmless nice. Every river ends in me! I got a Gwinsu's. That could be good on um, Azia. Azir in the late game. Okay, so since I'm not contested on my Lilia, I think I'm going to let everybody else roll first, take their four costs out of the pool, and then that's when I roll. I might even hit a three-star Kench. Well, there's a Bard reroller, so maybe not. He's got five Kenches. But I'll definitely hold it. I'll make it hard for him. And then maybe when he's dead, I can hit. Okay, two removers. 
Okay, this guy didn't roll yet either. Good for me. What makes the double Rage Blade Bard's comp so broken? Uh, Bard just scales really, really hard off of attack speed. Like, harder than anybody else in the game. So double Rage Blade is the highest way to scale up attack speed. Like, usually, if you, if you look at, like, double Rage Blade, I don't know, Caitlyn. She's locked behind her casting animation for so long. Oh, I lost. But yeah, she's locked behind her cast animation for so long. Uh, and so is, like, everybody else in the game. Bard isn't, though. His thing is just, like, a quick buff to his autos. Uh, it's probably Mythic Crest. Yeah, I get a lot of... Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit. Um... Okay. Every flower blooms to be seen. Um, let me think about this. Wait, can I go 10 Mythic? Wait, I can! I can actually go 10 Mythic! Wait, I can, right? I need to be level 9. But yeah, I, I can. Okay. I need, I need to be nine. Okay, so I'll sell the bards for now. I should roll, get a Lilia pair, and then dupe, and then just sit. Some call right. me evil. Shall I prove them right? I will not okay, I'm pretty sure I'm just duping and then sitting. <laughs> okay, I mean this looks really good. Um. This is probably the right play. Okay, if I make it to 9, I actually can get 10 Mythic. That's actually amazing. Um, I need to figure out what to do with my items, though. I've got offensive components. Need to find Bard. Oh, I mean, I need to go 9. I sold my Bards for Econ. Wait, there's no way I lose, right? Oh my god, it came down to that one auto. Uh... I think I want Spark. I was sitting there for a while thinking about it. So, I'm pretty sure the correct play here is you Adaptive Helm somebody else, I still have a remover, and then you give Lilia another item. But first, I believe Spark is the right play. <laughs> Normally you'd have a Luna here for Shred, but since I have Dragonlord, who should I put this Spark on? Probably Rakan, because he dives into the middle of the team. Oh wait, that, that might be the wrong reason actually. <laughs> he might be inting. But I, I like the idea of it, because he, he actually does do a lot of damage. He jumps in, applies the shred to everybody. So that sounds kind of sick. I just need to give him like a good survivability item. Maybe Adaptive Helm at the end. I'll find a better item for Lilia. Not Giant Slayer, but... Maybe like... Gunblade. I destroyed that guy. Okay, wait, wait. So the fact that I can actually go 10 Mythic is, is epic. So all I need to do is hit a Bard, hit a Huey, and go 9. And this is super rare, because normally you'd have to go 10. Oh, thanks, Huey. But yeah, normally you'd have to go 10 to play 10 Mythic, but because I have it on a target dummy, I can actually do it at 9. That's so cool! This is like a- this is, this is like the one in a million. I, I just have to hit a Huey. Oh, and a Bard. I'm sure I can hit one Bard. I sold him for Econ earlier, but like, surely I hit one, right? Also, I don't actually know how you're supposed to position this Lilia. I, I've just been putting her here in the middle.
But yeah, there is a bard reroller, but he's 20 HP. Actually, I hit one, right? Imagine I the only reason I can't go uh, 10 mythic is because of that specific. Just like because there's one guy playing bard, and I just never hit one. Oh god. No, I don't have the single target damage for this. Wait, this Volibear has insane items. Uh, wait a second. Uh... <laughs> uh... Interesting fight. Oh, hey Annie, what are, you, what are you doing over there? Annie? Wait, is she in the sky? Oh. Wait, it's actually a 10 mythic tuber? If I can go 9 and hit one Hui, one B. One Hui, one Bard. One Hui, one Bard. I'll sack one and then go 9. I'll have to drop the Annie, but that's. And the Janna, but that's fine, honestly. At, at 10 mythic, you don't need. Uh, you don't need 4 Invoker or Dragon Lord. Oh, wait, I got a Bard. Okay, just sack one, you got this, Albert. Instantly become epic, epic. The bonus is increased by 250%. Okay. Uh, I don't know if that was the correct solve on the items, but I knew that I needed to give Lily a new item. I think blue buff was fine. I was, I was interested in doing Archangels. There was like some complicated Reforger math you could do there. All right, let's do this. Give me one way, I win the game. One way. Oh my God. Oh my god! Wait. I am so excited for this. No way. Let's see it. The power of 10 Mythic. I've never seen this before. Too many things had to go right for this. Our first Prismatic trait. I think. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everything's just dead. Okay. Alright, everything's just dead. Rakan ma oh, Rakan makes for a Dragon Lord. I don't even need the Janna. Nice. Alright. Let's go 10 and do whatever. Is Lily contested? Maybe 10 Mythic Lily at 3? Oh, she's not contested. All right, I got 41 HP, right? So I, I should be fine. Oh, I actually have a lot of one stars. I didn't realize. Yeah, everybody's alive. That's crazy. Usually you hit this at like the very end of the game. Oh yeah, let's see it. 10 Mythic. The bonus is increased by 250%. So everybody just has like God tier stats now. Lilia's third cast should kill everything. Yeah, it does. Well, half their health. This is all from Alilia too. Hello, Christeco. Thanks for the sub. It's not an instant win, but it would honestly be pretty close against a three-star four cost. Is that Alilia on Carousel? I don't even care that the item sucks. I'm down to try for Alilia three. I think that's a, it's more fun. No. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna roll. I'm sitting on a lot of one stars. We could go ten, but I think this is better. This is more interesting. Set a couple of upgrades. It's probably good enough. Yeah, one more roll. Fervor Con. All right, it's chill. The game's not over yet. Don't spend all your money. If I want to hit Lily at three, I gotta keep it in my pants. Who took the shiv, by the way?
Oh, can I finally beat this Volibear 3? I sure hope so. Surely we beat him this time. Uh, it's like an 8v1. G guys, come on. Come on. Stop messing around. Kill the Volibear. Gu guys. <laughs> guys. <laughs> okay, there we go. Thank you. Thank you. We ate him. This guy took my shiv and then died. Wait, is the game gonna last four fights after this? I think I'm actually, okay. I think I'm actually supposed to not uh, print a Lilia here. Cause printing it actually removes one from the pool, making my roll down a little bit harder. And it would be fine if I was going to then print another one in four rounds. But I'm pretty sure the game's gonna end in four rounds. Assuming that I win all my fights, I'm pretty sure the game's over in four rounds. So I'll actually intentionally not print. Keep it at four. And then uh, wait until I'm at eight Lilias and then put Lilia on the thing. Okay, I should talk this uh, this uh, York hero argument before, but it was actually pretty good. But like, there's no way it beats 10 Mythic, right? Wait. Wait. What? <laughs> wait, there's, there's no way! Print! Print the Lilia! Print the goddamn Lilia! What is what is going on? Ah! <laughs> uh, ah! Uh, hello? My ten mythic just lost. <laughs> yeah, I need anti heal. All right, give me a sunfire cape. Yeah, I talk shit, get hit. Nah, no, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I will roll until I hit a recon though. Anti heal. Oh fuck, no anti-heal. Honestly, it's probably Shiv, just in case Rakan dies. Alright, I'm not going no I'm not going 10, I'm just rolling. Rakan? Okay, I need to like budget a little bit. But like, I also need to hit. Oh, I'm pretty sure Rakan too uh, saves enough HP. If I get a one unit loss, could I still be two uh, two lives? I can't believe it's close. Wait, did I lose? What? Oh God! Wait, no way. No way. Some call me evil. Shall I prove them right? Just roll for whatever upgrades. I'm getting desperate. Art is empty without empathy. How did I lose to a ghost? Yeah, I need Hoi too. Okay, I, I moved my Lilia for a better angle this time. Hopefully I win this... Wait. Really? Was this just a Lilia angle diff? I destroyed him. I destroyed him. I think he's dead. Oh, he's not dead. Okay, wait. Way? Way! What do I do against this guy? I have no anti-heal. Oh god. Okay. Come on, Albert. No anti-heal. No problem. What does this augment do exactly? Heals oh, it's just a lot of damage. Tech Annie in. Annie would have to go in over uh for cotton. I don't think it's worth. Like surely I win. It's just one guy! With two BTs and a Hodge. It's just one Healy boy. But I don't have it. I don't have a Sunfire at all, Morellos. It's just one Healy boy. Come on, team. Take him out. This this can't be happening. It's not real. It's not real. 
He's actually unkillable! Please! What the fuck? What? Ah! I need anti-heal. Anything. Please. None! No, 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 no. Oh! Guys! There's a chance! Oh, wait. Wouldn't wish my fate on anybody. Yeah, fuck. Maybe it was literally just play Annie for a little bit of anti-heal. No, she would die immediately, though. One star Annie would die instantly. Wait, okay, this looks better. This looks better. Come on, it's a 10v1! Finish him! Yes! Do not let him cock! Oh. I forgot to do that. That's fine. This is the final fight anyway. He has to keep his York on one of these tiles, so I'm, I'm always safe if I stay on the, the side over here. Okay, I'm gonna put my Kench in front of him. We just need to like get this York stuck on the Kench and the Nautilus, and then have Lily kill everybody else, and then 10v1 him. The fact that I shit talk this guy, the Hero Augment, and then I hit 10 Mythic and he's beating me, it's just insane. Uh, this, what a comeback story from this guy, honestly. But there's no way. You can't beat 10 people, right? Come on, guys. Guys? Guys? No. It's so close. Come on. One more cast from Archon. That's it, baby. Yes. Yes. I can't believe it was that close. I will never shit talk a hero augment ever again. Oh my god. It was literally like Thanos versus the Avengers, man. One three-star Yorick against 10 Mythic, and it, I barely won. I barely won on my last life, too. Okay, I'm tired. What a game. That was a very good game to end it on. If that guy sacked the Umbral Shield and put Yorick on the Lily side, it was over. Uh, unsure, because the Umbral Shield also lets him execute. So it makes him like 20% stronger. I'm pretty sure he had to and just try to outheal it. Interesting. If I ever get offered this Yorick Hero Augment, I'm going to copy this. BT, BT Hodge. I'm pretty sure if this guy could, he would have gone BT, BT, BT. Interesting. I'm going to steal that technology. Please,